In this video, we're going to talk about Greenplum Database and why you should invest in Greenplum Database to power the future of your data infrastructure. So you're thinking about using Greenplum Database and you want to know you're listening to radio station WIFM. What's in it for me? You want to know what, why should I use Greenplum Database? What are the benefits? So we're going to go through that right now. So the first benefit, which is building your technical team for the future. So I think all of us agree and understand that the people that work for you and that the people that make up your team are absolutely fundamentally foundational to the success of not only yourself, but your, your organization and your final customers. So when I say building your technical team for the future, what I'm recommending is that you invest in your technical team's knowledge and learning. And really that starts with open source. So if you're in the software world and if you're in the software world for some time, things come and go and the people's knowledge is what is key. And by having open source technology that people can understand and, it, and they can understand by reading the code, but they can also understand because it's a network effect. The network effect comes because different engineers learn different things. They can learn more and they can learn faster in an open platform, which is something that's just completely not available when it comes to closed source technologies. So PostgreSQL is at the core of Greenplum. And as PostgreSQL is a open source system and has probably hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people around the world that understand the technology from, from inside to out, this is a way for you to learn how does query, how do queries work, how does data work, how does databases work. And by working on open source technology, by working on Postgres related technology, and by working on Greenplum, which is both open source and Postgres based, but also allows for your technical team to leverage full SQL structured query language without compromise, machine learning and AI, Python coding, R coding, and really also to understand how it interacts with the Linux operating system and distributed systems by being hands-on and by being um, a learning culture based on open source, you're investing in your team and your team is really your future. So that's number one of what's playing on radio station WIFM. Number two is you want the capabilities, the capabilities that a technology like Greenplum can provide. You want to empower your employer, you want to empower yourself, you want to empower your customers with the kind of capabilities that you need. What are the capabilities that you're going to get when you deploy Greenplum? You're going to get the capability to scale from running on your local machine in, in a small little Docker or virtual machine and running Greenplum to running all the way up to the massive scale that you can imagine. So this capability of scalability, which is something you won't get, for example, with Python, something you won't get with MySQL, something you won't get with other um, enterprise databases like you know, SQL Server or whatnot. This ability to scale is a capability that you get. The ability to slice and dice your data across thousands of different dimensions, to, to mix and match data sets, to combine them, to put them in a centralized location, to copy the data sets easily internally within the database using SQL or to be able to export putting your data in S3, putting your data in object stores, the ability to do all kinds of custom analytics with user-defined functions, and we'll talk about that. But really, the capabilities that you get with Greenplum is going to be something unique to, to this platform that you won't find in other platforms. The third uh, benefit in you picking to deploy Greenplum is to lower the cost fundamentally to your employer and to your customers you know, ultimately to your customers because you're lowering your own costs and your company's costs. Because Greenplum is based on open source, because Greenplum is a software that you that you install, um, because it's not charged based on how many queries you run or how much load you used on, on, a, on, a, on a service, it allows you to mix and match, first of all, mix and match distribution. So you can mix and match, for example, a commercial distribution of Greenplum database, let's say VMware Greenplum with open source Greenplum. 
You can mix and match the infrastructure. You could be running on virtual machines. You could be running in, in cloud instances. You could be running on bare metal. Um, and you can do that based on use cases. And then fundamentally, Greenplum is just, um, I would say, you validate this from your own data points, but I would say it's extremely cost competitive in all the varieties that you get for Greenplum. It's gonna be extremely cost competitive on a usage basis versus pretty much many, many to all of the products in the data warehousing and big data space. So it's super cost competitive, which allows you to run at a lower expense level and you can redevote those funds to people, right? To more people, to do more things, to learn more things, build more analytics or re relocate those funds to anything, right? Um, number four is the unique analytical capabilities that you get with Greenplum, the ability to analyze data in unique ways. This is what I was hinting at too above empowering your technical team and the empowering your, your employer and your analytics capabilities. So the pure flexibility that you get when running off of Greenplum, which is a scalable version of PostgreSQL, and Postgres, PostgreSQL is built on an object relational model. So not only do you get all the benefits of a relational database to be able to select and search through huge sets of data with billions of possible queries or trillions of possible queries, but you also get the ability to create custom data types, unique data types that model the real world and to push those data types into the system and to use them in parallel just to analyze data. So you could have representations if you're a, a trucking company, you can have um, objects, coding objects that represent trucks. You can have functions that run on those trucks and they could be processed in massively parallel. You could be using um, array data types or complex data types or JSON data types and combining them together, creating unique data types with programming languages built on top of the relational database. Or you could be using built-in functions that come from the community, geospatial functions, text functions, time series functions, um, machine learning functions, AI functions, all of this in parallel and all of this gives you the unique ability of analytics that you get in Greenplum to, to mix and match these data sets and do all kinds of unimaginable things or imaginable and unimaginable things. And then really, data set sharing and simplification of how you do sharing and simplification of how you do access to the data. So you can go from running a Greenplum system for just one user, again, like on your PC, or to an enterprise data warehouse in an, in an enterprise with 100,000 employees. And they can all share and access the data in one database concurrently based on the, the idea of multi-user database systems. This is a multi-user system. So the data is there and it will automatically protect and, and, and give the proper access to all the users based on permissions and security and locking and all these things, which you don't need to think too much about. They work transparently. <clears throat> so as users are updating data, you can still query data. Everything is dynamic, right? And it can be accessible to your organization. If your organization is one, two, three, or even organizations as large as hundreds of thousands of employees use Greenplum in an enterprise data warehouse context. And you can run with one data set, right? You could have one set of data, but you can run an unlimited number of queries on it without changing to another platform. We have graph functions, we have geospatial functions, we have machine learning functions, we have billions of possible SQLs you could be running without copying the data, just one set of data, and you can be analyzing it, sharing it, simplifying. And from the administrative point of view, you don't need to have 10 technologies. You don't need a graph DB and a um, time series DB and a, you know, this and a that and this and a that. You got one database with all kinds of in unlimited number of queries you can run on it, which again, helps you to lower your costs because you're not building multiple platforms, helps you to analyze data in unique, unique ways, empowers you, empowers your employer to build the analytics you want and, and just makes things simple. So I want to give you one example and, and check out the link here. This is a talk we did at VM Explorer with Ian from Purdue University who leads their data science team. And they have, um, among many other use cases, seen extreme success on COVID contact tracing and actually built a super advanced COVID contact tracing that helped them to stay open and have in-person classes during the pandemic. And the, they don't have unlimited resources as a university, so they were able to 
simplify, put all the data in Greenplum, and build business critical operational analytics with a small team of smart people. And the people are empowered. The people are empowered to write code. People are empowered to learn. People are empowered to understand the data. And, they're, and the, the entity or the enterprise is empowered to own the data, to possess the data, copy the data, to do whatever they want, to run it in any kind of hardware infrastructure they want. They have total control, total access, and, and they're only limited by their knowledge and they keep learning and coming up with new things, new applications, more ROI for the university. And that can be done at any scale. That can be done in a small scale, um, a small scale company, all the way up to biggest government agencies in the world who are using Green Plum actually to analyze and get those kinds of benefits. So it can be you, it could be anybody who can get these benefits um, that we're seeing here. So key point, Going into 2023, going into the future, invest in your team, invest in their knowledge and their capabilities, invest in open source, invest in your analytical capability, invest in having control of your own data. Where is it? Where do you put it? How do you control it? Where can you, you know, what platform you want to put it in? Save your money, be efficient with your money, have the flexibility to, to run in multiple environments and multiple types of analytics with a flexible system. So all of these benefits are there for you. So highly recommend for a majority of enterprises out there, Green Plum Database is a key database technology to look at, to power the analytics for your future.